the impulse that guided your book was the northern migration. Is that something that's also part of the deep backdrop that you grew out of being in Philadelphia, but maybe knowing more about your family? Is that part of what interested you? And then the other thing was, both of you said um, that you had some attachment to Zora Neale Hurston as mm -hmm. writers, and I'd be interested in hearing what each of your attraction to Zora is. Um, in terms of the of the the migration, my my grand my own grandparents certainly were were migrants. They they came from Virginia. Um, in the very early part of the 20th century. But I think it's, it's very important um, about this book to, to sort of establish that I don't think, it was never my intention um, to, to write a book about the Great Migration. I don't think that it is a book about, a, about the Great Migration. I think that it is very particularly a book about this family whose um, lives and experience is, of course, deeply informed by the fact that, you know, they're sort of in this, 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 um, Kind of epic and an enormous period in, in in the history of this country, but I but I think that that first first and foremost, it's a book about particularly this family and particularly this family's experience. But certainly, as I as I began to write and sort of realized the time period in which these people existed, it became very clear that the Great Migration was was certainly very very important, and that these people were um, were sort of living in the sort of um, mingled betterment, I suppose, of, of, having, of having been a, a first-generation children of the migration. Zora. I'll be kind of a hoggy piggy and actually answer that, that question as well before mm -hmm. the Zora question. <laughs> um, because I also have, have that uh, history of the Great Migration and my, my background I mentioned in my presentation during the slideshow that my father's family is from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, but in fact, um, my father and his sisters were carried by his mother from, from the South, from Mississippi, in the 40s, um, mm. trying to escape Jim Crow after the murder of my grandfather mm. by a white man. Uh, that happened in 43, and that man was never prosecuted. Mm -hmm. So she really fled in, in racial terror and fear for the lives of her children. And um, that loss, that sort of personal family loss, I think was it was also a driving force for me in the, the writing of this book, because mm -hmm. he, the, lo the loss of my grandfather, um, the, the pain of which I feel I inherited from my dad, uh, came to feel like a sort of metaphor for a loss 